Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. So let's go ahead, jump right into it because we have a pretty jam-packed morning. Camera is shaking like a leaf. Relax. Let's see. Okay, we have Chloe. Okay, okay. I've never tried any of the Chloe fragrances. Do not look at the, Oh, I was trying not to look at the card. The packaging. It's quite nice. I'm into it. It's glass. So we have a glass sample here. It says natural spray. Okay, all right. Some of them I was able to get a quick whiff before spraying, but this one, no. All right, let's go. Okay, spray. Fresh, it's clean. It's something I've smelled before. It's clean. Hmm, white floral? Powdery, if I had to guess some notes, Jasmine? The thing with clean scents, right? I don't know them that well. To know like, oh, if I smell this, then I know that that is a clean note. It's very subtle, it's very innocent. I don't know why that's the first thing that comes to mind. Whoever's wearing this seems, seems, you seem very innocent. Okay, I was saying, Fresh, clean, floral. I don't remember if I said powdery just that fast. Anyway, so here are the main accords. Floral, rose, fresh, okay, and fruity. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Top notes, peony, lychee, freesia. Middle notes, rose, lily of the valley, magnolia. Base notes, Virginia Cedar and Amber. Peony, Freesia, and Rose. Um, I have realized, well, let me save it for the review because I think I'm onto something. But okay, hmm. Either it dries down really fast or I didn't spray a lot but it's very faint right now. And I've only been recording for five minutes. It's very innocent. Okay, this doesn't make me feel like a woman. It makes me feel like a girl. It's very feminine compared to what I prefer. And maybe that's why, because it's a whole lot of floral in here. I thought it would be white florals, but it's florals, fresh and fruity. A sublime powdery rose. Feminine, natural, sexy, and chic. Yeah, I I agree with you. I mean, you're the perfumer. Of course, you're going to tell me what is in it and why it smells the way it smells. But yeah, I do agree that uh, it is feminine. Is it sexy? It's not sexy to me. To me. Natural, chic, and feminine, I agree. This is minimalist sexy. That's all I got. I'm not wowed by this. I'm not overly excited about this. I'm not thinking I can't wait to get my own bottle of this. I think we'll just do the last one and the gift together because there's no point in dragging this out. So I am pressed for time. I am going to clean up the surrounding areas and I need to finish the treat. Procrastination. I had to come back really quickly. My dishwasher is going in the back so Please bear with me in my time of cleaning. I still have the Chloe fragrance on and I'm having a bit of an issue, a bit of a reaction, if you will, not on my skin, but I noticed I was getting a headache and I thought, maybe I'm hungry, maybe I'm dehydrated because these are all things that could possibly be reasons why I have a headache. It kept getting worse and all I could smell is the fragrance. So even though it was becoming very faint on its way to about 10, 15 minutes or so, then it just, something, something just 
hits you and I shouldn't keep trying to smell it knowing that it makes my head hurt. But I looked it up on Fragrantica and people on Fragrantica were like, oh, it's a migraine in a bottle. It, I don't know which note is the culprit. I want to like it, but it's too soapy. It's too clean. And I feel them on that. I feel them on that. It's, I don't know what type of rose is in it, but it's, the rose is rosin. I, mm -mm, I'm not sure, but I'm going to wash this off because for the sake of fragrance, will I walk around with a headache? No. I know, I know, I know that you drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want out of this So these are the boards that Kay basically gifted me when we went to go take pictures. And she has a vlog where she was talking about having extra, like she didn't need that many. And she gave them to me. So I'm the one who got them. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting the board, even though I should be done with the boards by now. But I figured I would show you my process. I've watched all of the videos. I've been down the rabbit holes. But I'm going to do it the way my eye wants to see it. They're talking about put the dips first, put the cheeses, the big things. No, I need to do it the way my eye envisions it. So hopefully it turns out okay. The tree's not done. Let's stop. Don't, don't talk about it. Anyway, so cascading strawberries to start. Then we're gonna add some, I'm thinking blackberries in between. I think that'll be nice. Go with me on this. Just let me, Is it obsessive compulsive because I'm counting? Just for now. So I'm thinking two in between each strawberry, something like that, okay? So we have the before and the after or and the during. I need to make sure I have space for the baguette. I'll be back. You taking up my time. Call me to your crib and Why do you smell like bacon right now? Okay, suitable for a vegetarian diet. But why do you smell like bacon? I know it's smoked. Wisconsin. It's from Publix. I need a lot of this on mine. Mm -hmm. It looks crazy on camera, but in real life it doesn't look so chaotic. You know what I mean? But I'm not done. And I think it's going to be a wonderful adult Lunchable. That's what they are, aren't they? I think so. Okay, never mind the butcher paper. It's been through a lot. But this is Lisa's board. I think it looks very festive, very on brand. And mine has salmon. So, and we have rosemary and we have fruit. And Lisa's tiptoeing, I don't know why. But yeah, this is what we have for the afternoon. Pretty much it. You wanna take it up? You think we need more? Mm, I don't think we're gonna eat all of those. Lisa is now addicted to voice messages as if they just came out. I don't know why. You put me on to voice messages though. I want you to know this. Why like, weren't you using it before? I don't know and then now it's my thing because it's too much to text. Ooh. Girl, I don't know how to Anyway, back okay. to what we were doing. So I'm gonna catch the vlog up while you figure out which one you're gonna pick first. Yeah. We have cranberries in a gloss. We have finished the Duncan Creek Rosé from Chateau Elan. We have also opened the Autumn Blush from Chateau Elan. I bought two at my local liquor store so that we can get a variety of chateaus that we like. Because she's bougie. Because she's extra. <laughs> and our boards, let me show you. <laughs> the aftermath. The aftermath. So I think it's safe to say it went well. Probably this is our favorite wine now. This is the Autumn Blush. It's quite nice. <clears throat> Let me turn the brightness up a little bit because we, I promise. It's me trying to be a... Not a beauty influencer. <laughs> Y'all follow my page. <laughs> Your neighborhood faux content creator. Faux content creator. <laughs> okay, so we didn't even get to open the mm -hmm. Apricot Preserve because we didn't we didn't need it uh, here. Never mind the Blistex. We also want to say you guys don't put Parmesan in cheese. <laughs> don't put... They don't belong there. This is the parm. They don't belong okay. there. Okay. So just put that in your pasta. Don't 
not on your board. But the goat cheese, this is remnants of the goat cheese with mm -hmm. honey. Mm -hmm. You need that. That mm -hmm. you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The baguette. Mm -hmm. We had mini baguette slices all over the place. Communion cookie. Communion cookie. This one is from Trader Joe's. I showed you guys that yesterday. It's also not called communion. <laughs> no, no, no. But for the sake of remembering what right. it is, so what's the first fragrance you're going to smell? Did I just lose it? That's the Versace one. Cut the camera.